Calling out for Mr. Nobody. Fred. Frederick. The Black Monk. Let's make it famous, Fred. All over again. Fred. Whoa! The East Drive looks just like any other 1950s built council house. However, a sinister side is said to hide within its walls. The entity, who has become known as Fred, or the Black Monk, is believed to be the most violent poltergeist in Europe, and he has been making his presence known inside this property for more than 50 years. There have been many different explanations given regarding who the entity is. He was known to the press as Mr. Nobody, but the Pritchard family called him Fred. And in time, he became known as the Black Monk, mainly because when he has appeared as an apparition, he is said to be dressed in long black robes. Could we come into contact with the Black Monk? We have 24 hours to find out. The Spirits of 30s Drive. Are you here with us? Show us what you can do. We've heard so much about you. We're staying the night, the whole night. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that, Mark? <sighs> to be honest, I'm feeling like exactly how I felt last time when I very first come. Nervous. Feeling as though I want to run, honestly. I don't know why. You don't look as though you want to run. You're <laughs> like on the set team, mate. You ain't no. going nowhere. <laughs> hey. Make yourself known. I've heard they call you Mr. Nobody. And why is that? Why is it they call you Mr. Nobody? We also hear there's a little spirit of a little girl here. Can you remember here on the box? You were too young for that, weren't you? No, man. They, they, yeah, this, this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When there was no programmes on. Mm. I can remember what, listening to Terry Wogan. Yeah, Teddy Wogan. Yeah, Terry Wogan. Yeah, God. Yeah, so with this uh, place, guys, we do think that things happen when they happen. You know, it's not guaranteed. Well, it never is guaranteed anyway. As you know, the paranormal is such a rare thing. But in this house, we don't think that whatever haunts this place actually does things on command. It just happens out the blue when you least expect it. I think it comes in waves, you know, as well. I know, I know, I know. Look, our wave will come in. When we're not recording. Yeah. Yeah. See how powerful and how big you really, really are. I'm going to introduce myself. My name's Mark. My name's Paul. So are you going to introduce yourself? Make a noise. Tap like this. Is there a girl here who goes by the name of Emma or Emily?
Not once for Emma, like this. And twice for Emily. That's if you're here with us. And Fred, if you're here, push that push chair down the stairs. I'm going to go in that other bedroom, mate, if you want to stay in here, yeah? I'm calling out for Mr. Nobody. Fred. Frederick. The Black Monk. Where are you? Can you show yourself inside this mirror? Or this mirror? Can you show yourself in this room with me? Again, knock like this if you're with us. Are you becoming more weak as the years go by? Because when the family lived here and Diane was living here, you were very strong. I know why you were strong. Because Diane was a young girl. And you're very good with young girls, aren't you? Are you scared of us? Are you a coward? Come and show yourself to me. Come and stand next to me in this mirror. We've traveled a long way to see you tonight. How do you feel about us sleeping here? <laughs> this can be fun. I'm not afraid of you. I don't fear you. Is that why you're doing nothing for us? Because we don't fear you? Can you move something around in this room? Apparently this doll has moved on numerous occasions. Also the pram has been pushed down the stairs. Could you do that? Could you push the pram down the stairs? Go on. If you're big and powerful, you could push that pram down the stairs, couldn't you? Or make one of the lights flash. Come up the stairs to us. I don't think you've got the power anymore to do anything. I don't think you have the power even to make one of them lights flash. How about if we went on his own? Would you do something then? Would you show yourself to one of us? Yeah, so apparently, guys, this doll has moved numerous times. There is actually a note on it. There is some, some of it missing, guys, so I don't know what else it says. Please respect her.
Okay, Nora the doll. Could you move? Show us your power. Or could any other spirit that's in this house move this doll? Be great if you could. I'm going to leave that camera there, I think. One on the doll? Yeah, I've left it on the doll. I'm hoping it doesn't fall off the... I've left it on the arm of the chair. It's literally balancing. It should be fine. I don't think it'll fall off. Do you know what? You've really disappointed me so far. You really live to your reputation. You do, don't you? Being a coward, I mean. Not powerful, coward. Come and walk up these stairs. You've been seen on that staircase numerous times. Come on, spirits of 30 East Drive. Please make yourself known. Are you downstairs, Paul? No. I'm in this small bedroom now. The light, it's gone dead bright, dead bright light, and then just gone off. Yeah, no, I've just changed the night vision. Oh, right. Okay, so if you can see us, you'll see that Mark is in Diane's bedroom. I'm here. And I'm in the small room across from the toilet. The bathroom. Would it be possible to walk towards me? Or Mark? Let us hear your footsteps. Or use your voice. Sure, you know the most frustrating thing is, Mark. What? Is that I've got a feeling he's just watching and listening. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Not doing anything. And exactly. that's so frustrating. Because he knows it's frustrating us. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's what a kind yeah. of person he is. That's what he is. He's like that. Murderers are. Yeah. They want, don't want to give you anything. That's what a sly dog he is. But we can, we can hold out. We don't care. We've got all night. You will wander one, one part of the night, definitely. Because your curiosity won't stop, won't, won't stop you. You'd have to do it. 
We can tell you all about us, no problem. But you've got to show yourself first. Show us what you can do. Show us your worth. We've got no guilt to introduce ourselves. And if you hadn't got no guilt, you'd introduce yourself, wouldn't you? So if you're so innocent, and you didn't murder girls, and you want to clear your name, then do something for us to show that you are innocent. Go to the lights, make a noise. Right. Let's go. Shut the doors behind me. Right. I'm here, all alone. Have you been waiting for this moment? Myself and Mark have been here all day. We've been calling out for you to do something, but nothing has happened. Now is your moment. Your opportunity. It's 1v1. Me and you. I'm calling out for Fred. The murderer. The one who's famous for haunting this house. Are you still here? Tell you what, guys, I'm so nervous because the simple fact that this is my third time here, but I've never been here in the pitch black darkness. Past 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, like I say, it's been pretty quiet whilst me and Mark have been calling out. But being here all alone. I feel like if we've insulted him together that he's been waiting he's been waiting for a moment to
do something when we least expect it. So I am really nervous. I'm going to come upstairs, Fred. Coming. Are you up there? Been waiting a very long time to return to this house. For proof of the paranormal. And I'm hoping to find that tonight. Right, I'm coming up. That was the pram I think I've just kicked. Tell you what, there's just a feeling on the stairs. I don't know whether it's because it's such a tight squeeze and there's one, two, three, there's four room, there's four doorways. So you're like sort of, you know what I mean? And I'm just gonna be chatting bubbles now because I'm so nervous. I'll put the pram there. Come on, Freddy. The big bad ghost. Now's your time. Do something. Come on, you're supposed to possess a lot of power. Humans are supposed to be weak compared to you. Prove it to me. Come and slam this door. What the ghost tube out, guys. This device in my hand is called a mobile phone. You know all about these from all the people that have been visiting this house and try and communicate with you. Can't why?
Why can't you? Are you weak? Are you weak, Fred? Come and take my energy. Use everything I have. The batteries in the camera. The batteries and all the equipment. Take all that energy. And make yourself known. The last time I was stood on top of this staircase, I heard a voice through the microphone, but I didn't hear it in person. It was only captured on this camera. So can you surprise me again? Use your voice. And then I can hear it when I arrive home. Or do something more. Pathetic. Who's pathetic? Because at the moment, the only person who's pathetic is you. Weak. Pathetic. You don't have the powers, do you, Fred? The Black Monk. Or are you scared? Are you afraid to be confronted by men? Show me. Come and show me. I might be talking tough, but I'm absolutely shitting myself. Come on then, Fred. Show me. Show me what you have. Show me in the mirror. Can you move one of those dolls? Come on, Fred. Did you know that you're so famous they even made a film about you? You were all over the TV. The murderer monk who likes little girls.
Whoa. Shit. Whew. I thought it said Fred. It said threat. Even the ghost juice make me jump guy. I'm running off pure adrenaline here. Are you a threat, Fred? What am I a threat to you? I'm weak. You're weak. Pretty impressive. I've been calling you weak all night. But I've told you, you can use all of my energy. I want you to prove to the world that you haunt this house. Let's make you famous, Fred, all over again. Can you do that tonight? For you, for us? Are you a murderer, Fred? Sorry if I'm coming across a bit boisterous, guys. <clears throat> but I feel that that's what you have to do in here. And the fact that I'm running off pure adrenaline because I am so nervous. Such a feeling in this place. I, I just can't describe it to you. Come on, I'm all alone. Can you knock? Can you walk up those stairs? It's strange how I'm weak has come through on the ghost tube. Some people believe that this is a portal. And that many spirits come and go from this property. Is that true? Is there any other spirits here? 
There's the little girl here. If so, I'm very sorry for shouting. I don't mean to scare you. God, the ghost, <laughs> the ghost shoot made me jump earlier, you guys. I jumped out my skin, honestly, but I thought it said Fred. That would have been incredible if it did. Can you tell me your name on this device, please? Like I said, I know that you may, may be feeling weak, but you can use my energy. Is that possible? Are you able to do that? Is it good enough for you? Can you see this red light on the floor? Could you go towards it please? Or there's a green light on the staircase. Could you go towards that one, please? It's finally here. I'm on my own in 30 East Drive and I'm bricking myself. I was all big headed with Paul early on. Giving Fred loads. If there's anybody here with me now, would you please come forward and make some kind of noise for me? As you can see, I'm here on my own. We've heard a few noises before earlier on. Was If that was you, could you do the same noises again, please? I'm going to turn the camera on, guys. Hello? Are you here with me? A lot of people said that you walked past the door when no, there, the, the glass in the door, should I say. Could you do that for me, please? Is in there, I don't know. I can't put my finger 
inte utan mina boken ännu men. Are you with me? Right guys, I'm gonna have a little walk upstairs. I'm really on edge to be honest. Especially in the ear, what's going on in the ear. <clears throat> and I'm not too good with my chest. I'm going to have a walk upstairs now. You're going to follow me up if you're down here with me. I'm supposed to be in the most haunted room in the building, in the house. Um, <clears throat> this is where the 13-year-old girl was dragged down the stairs. This was her room. Is there anybody here with me? Could you make some kind of noise? There's only me here. scared me to death and I thought there was somebody standing behind me. Yeah. Come on, make a noise for me, please. There's a green light on the banister. And there's also a red one. Could you make the green light flash for me, please? I'd really appreciate it if you could do that for me. Just that to let me know that you're here with me. There's also a red light which is on the floor. Could you go towards that, please? Thank you. Now, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, thank you so much. Guys, I've just had a knock. Really loud. That scared me. Here we go. I'm going to go into where that knock was. Let's go in and have a look. Is there any chance you can make that noise for me again, please? I'd like to thank you for making that noise for me. Maybe 
possibly could do it again like this. Right, if that was you, Fred, I've come down the stairs now. Would it be possible you could make a noise again for me, please? Like this. We'll make the green light flash for me. Or could you move the push chair at the top of the stairs, please? Come on, make a loud noise for me, please. There's only me here. You want me to come back up? Come on, make that green light go to red. This is where all the action is supposed to be. You've, you've just given me one nice loud knock. Come on, could you just do one more for me, please? What about the red light, which is on the landing? Could you make that flash and make a noise? come back up and sitting in exactly the same spot when I heard that first knock this is that weird feeling in here guys honest to god 
I've got palpitations. Stop it, Mark. Calm yourself down. This is what I do. This is what I'm here for. Deep breaths. I've never felt like this before, guys. Deep breaths, mate. Is there anybody here with me at all? Make any kind of noise. Make a knock like this for me, please. Are you still here with me? Just make a knock for me, please. Like you did last time. Could you push the pram down the stairs, the little push chair? Come on, make one more noise for me, then I'm going to go. Make the green light flash. guys so we're in what would have been i believe that this would have been the parents bedroom mark this yeah there's many mirrors in are this you a friend? what the f are you a friend that sounded weird didn't it yeah well it's a demonic voice isn't it are they put it on demonic voice yeah follow you follow you What's he did? What did he say? Are you a friend? And then follow you? This is my friend. Did you follow me? You're going to make a noise for me. That's put me on edge, that has. That voice. It's just the voices changed on the ghost tube, guys. <laughs> Sounds demonic, doesn't it? Demonic? Made me jump out of my skin. I'm like freezing cold. It sets the scene, doesn't it? The thing is, I started using that, the voice for this. Oh, just drop my phone. Come over here. Come over here. No, you come over here. You come into this room to me and Paul. Make the red light outside the door flash. Make the, I've got that feeling again, mate. As though someone's come in. Make the green light flicker for me, please, if you are in here with us. This is no joke, this isn't it, mate? More? More what? What do you want more of? I'm going to have to change this voice back on the ghost tube. I don't know what's going on here, guys. But I was messing around with the, uh, all the different Yeah, you just need to give settings. me an heart attack. But I thought that was Fred come through speaking. Ghost tube. I mean, that's just the normal. Ghost tube. We'll just keep it normal, yeah? Yeah.
come on, whatever haunts this house, whatever is still here, we want to meet you. Good or bad? Gabriel. Gabriel. Who's Gabriel? Come on, spirits. Make yourself known to us. Why aren't you knocking? I know you knocked. I know it was you. Knock like this for me. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I know you can. I know it was you. It was as though, Paul, when I was in that other room, because it was doing stuff in here. Mm. Do it in that other room where the... Because it was doing stuff in here. Because mm. it was doing stuff in here. Mm. How about a whistle? There's a pram on top of that staircase. Push it down the stairs if you don't want it there. Use your power. She won't leave. Who won't leave? You can use... Sorry. Sorry? Why are you sorry? Like I say, the investigation-wise, guys, it has been really <coughs> quiet, but we can't say that we've been comfortable in here on his own, can no we? No chance, no chance. Um, okay, I, I, says I'd like them to spend... A good half an hour on good their own. Good half an hour on their own up these stairs, but yeah. listen back to that knock ball, because I swear it comes Yeah, listen back to it, mate, definitely. Like I say, if we can debunk things, mate, we debunk it. Yeah. But... I must admit, I was so nervous up here on my own. So, so nervous. Are you here with us? I had to laugh at you at the demonic ghost tube. <laughs> I was messing I around with the voices downstairs, guys, just having a play about. And um, it must have stuck to that voice. Sinister that was. I didn't frighten myself to death when I was sitting in that chair on there. That poster behind me. Just saw a pair of legs. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, it's behind me. Like behind someone me. was standing on you. Uh, uh, like a ghost behind me. Yeah. No way. He scares himself, doesn't he? Oh, all the time. dear, man. But you, you, you're that much on edge up here, I tell you that now. Yeah, it I'm is. I'm it now because it's now. I just, don't, I just don't feel right. It is edgy. Right, so we're going to head to bed, leave everything rolling. Um, not too sure how many hours are left on this camera, or these cameras, should I say. But we have got the CCTV that should keep rolling all night. That that shouldn't stop. Yeah, yeah. There's enough memory on that. I've got to find something to sleep in. <laughs> Good luck with that. Better not knock on Carol's, get a dressing yeah. gown. <laughs> yeah, Carol. Mind you, right, let's get our heads down. Right, Hopefully, something happens guys. throughout the night, guys. Yeah. But we'll see. Good night. Good night. Good night.